A new CDC report shows e-cigarette use among high schoolers has decreased in the past year. But experts say the rates are still too high. And KZI 9 News reporter Albert James has a look at how Lane County officials are trying to take the issue head on. Numbers are still high compared to, you know, what we were seeing amongst youth before uh, e-cigarettes were starting to become big. Michael Queering with Lane County Public Health's Tobacco Prevention and Education Program says it's encouraging to see a decline in high schoolers using e-cigs nationally and locally. But still, he says more needs to be done. He says prevention and education efforts by governments and community groups are key to continuing a reduction. Lane County is currently rolling out an education campaign called Breathe Easy. Looking to educate the public on um, targeted advertising of, of tobacco and e-cigarette products towards youth, uh, towards communities of color. Queering says they're also looking at several policy options to help reduce the number of youth using tobacco, including efforts around flavored products. We've seen counties like Washington County uh, and Multnomah County have success in their flavor bans, and so um, I think, yeah, I think we're just waiting to see how it goes across the state. He says they're committed to helping lawmakers develop evidence-based policies to discourage tobacco use. Flavors are a big factor in drawing in youth users. All those flavors are typically you know, attractive to youth, right? We're thinking, we're seeing things like bubble gum and mango ice and berry, berry blast, right? These are things that we typically associate with candy or, you know, cereal or like products like that that are typically marketed towards youth. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're hearing from local high school students about the prevalence of vaping in their lives and what they think should be done to reduce e-cig use. Reporting in Eugene, Albert James, KEZI 9 News.